Once upon a time, well, just last year, as a matter of fact, there was a great ball given at the castle. Lined the streets for miles around to see the guests arrive. Our glorious Queen Serafina, you see, had decided that the time had come. Her son, the Prince, must find himself a wife. So, although the most eligible girls in the kingdom were presented at the royal gala by their doting fathers, Prince Valiant had other ideas. <laughs> Prince remained unwed, and the Queen remained determined. It was a stroke of luck, as it turned out, for one person in particular. No further matter. Oh, no, no, of course not, Captain. Well, you can't just let anyone in there. We didn't receive our invitations. Then you never shall, shall we? None but the nobility are invited to the royal gala. It's a matter of blood. Blood? Great families of the land. You shall go, girls. I promise you. See the buzzard today. But I brought you these. It was so clear today, and the lake was the deepest green. There's my Beatrice. How are you, old girl? Coming home. Oh, well, that's 
That's excellent. He arrives tomorrow. He says he has a surprise. That's excellent. Dear Miss, can I get you to a piece of cheese? It's been so long, I'm too excited to eat. Uh, well, we don't want the master to come home to find you fizzled away to nothing, do we? Phelan, hmm. what shall I do with my life? It's time I started to make some decisions. I want Father to be proud of me. He already is, because you're you. I want to do something useful. Better have a piece of cheese, then. Or you won't have the energy, will you? I'll fetch it. What? You've worked enough. What? Sit down. Oh. I'm forgetting. Unexpected. I did say I had a surprise. You need a mother, and I need a wife. Claudette makes me happy, and I hope she will you. I have a mother. Oh, my darling, she's dead. She lives in my remembrance. And in mine. My dear. Good evening, Martin. I was just telling my daughter how happy I am. Oh. How touching. I saw it first. No, you didn't. I did. Well, I'm the eldest. You're the stupidest. The other one's bigger. Well, you have it then, pot face. Didn't okay. you? Pop Go on, silent. Your father will be the judge. Judge? What am I to judge, my treasure? I want this room. I saw it first, and I'm the eldest. This is your home. You must decide. But this is my room. Well, that's not a very nice way to treat visitors. Not a nice way at all. The Zola will move out. Well, that is, if she would like her sisters to feel at home. That would be the most hospitable thing to do. After all, they've come a long way. They must be feeling very unsettled. We are very unsettled indeed. I took a tour of the attic. There's a perfectly acceptable room. Oh, I must see Cook. Cook's a marvel. Brilliant at puddings. Perhaps. But I don't see her getting three stars in the near future. Good girl. I wish to propose a toast. To Goneril, Regan, and my beloved Claudette. Thank you, Martin. There are a few improvements to be made, naturellement, but on the whole, it is perfectly acceptable. More wine, please. Feel him. Yes, sir. Fetch another bottle. You're very quiet, says Ola. Girls who cannot speak usually stay on the shelf. To be able to converse fluently and with poise is the first requisite of a wife. I was just wondering, where did it all come from? All the fine food. We are not paupers here. Don't be silly. But we never drink wine. Your father said, don't be silly. Had I brought you up, 
You would be more obedient. Perhaps you had good fortune in town. I did indeed. I met my wife. I'd never wear that hat. Which is exactly why I shall. No man in the kingdom will be able to resist me. You look like a mushroom. But I don't look like you, which is half the battle, isn't it? Enter. Uh, I just wondered if you had everything that you need. Sit down. Have a drink. Have a cigar. A cigar? Don't you like cigars? I've never tried. You haven't tried much, by the look of you. Learn a few tricks, Zazola. Otherwise, you'll never get a man in your bed. I don't want a man in my bed. Reggie. <laughs> it occurs to me... She's an innocent. Who will have to be... Corrupted. And the sooner, the better. Tell me, what do we do for pleasure mm. in this desolate neck of the woods? Anywhere to go? At night? Yeah, you know. Parties, salons, dens of ill repute. No, nowhere at all. We sit and read, mainly. <sighs> that explains it. What? Her mother got remarried on such incredible speed. So, Zola, go to bed. What are you doing, sitting down? Uh, a little bit wobbly on the pins, ma'am. The temperature is dropping. I can feel it. I'm surprised you didn't feel anything. <laughs> what? I, I said I, I can't feel anything down below. I want you back in the boiler room in three minutes. No excuses. I'm a warm person. I will not be called. You have deceived me. It was all borrowed? Everything? Although we are of noble blood, we are, as a rule, somewhat more frugal than I confess I had led you to believe. Well, you better come up with some more funds. Frugality makes me very unpleasant to live with. That can't be true. You'll go to town tomorrow and negotiate a further loan. Well, you can't expect my daughters to live with, without food on the table and clothes on their back. Well, I rather thought I'd bought them enough clothes enough to Enough clothes? There is never enough clothes, imbecile! That will entail mortgaging my property. Cash. Get cash. I cannot be humiliated in this way. Uh, oh. <laughs> Orders from the mistress, ma'am.
Tomorrow I travel up to town on business. Give me proof of your love, and I will buy for you whatever you desire. To me, you are the kindest, gentlest stepfather I could ever have wished for. We were in sorry straits until we met you, but now we have a home. Thank you, Goneril. You are good and true. It will be my pleasure to bring you back... A necklace? A necklace. A diamond necklace? As you wish. What I find most appealing about you, Father, is your simple country wisdom. We were in real danger of being spoiled up in town. But your homespun philosophy and your old-fashioned horse sense has been a major influence on me. I really feel I've turned a corner. It's an excellent answer and thoroughly well observed. What would you like? A ring of pure gold. A ring of gold it should be. With an emerald in it? <laughs> it's about time you condescended to make an appearance. I'm sorry. I had to help Phelan. Look at the state you're in. You're a disgrace. She's all covered in cinders. We should call her Cinder Girl. Cinderella. That's what we'll call you. Cinderella, that's good. My name is Azola. Not anymore. Before I go, I wish to learn how much you love me. How much do you love me, Cinderella? I do not love you, father, any more or any less than an honest daughter should. Then you shall have no present. I mean no insult. I simply... You take me for granted, is that it? You should follow the example of your sisters. They said some very sweet things to me. Anyone can mouth the words. Get out of my sight! Safe journey, Father. Speed home! A lesson well learned. I applaud you. What do you want? Mother used to tell me how you met at the castle. By a rose bush in the courtyard. Bring me a cutting from that rose bush that I might plant on her grave. Please. Be respectful to my wife whilst I'm away, and I consider it. done with my painting? I beg your pardon. That is my mother. Yes, I know it is. And a perfectly morbid ornament, if I do say so. A nice mirror will open up the room and one can check one's hair, I'll post so. Never mind your hair. I want my mother. I am your mother now. You? You are coarse and greedy. You could never be as beautiful as her. I dislike idle girls. We'll have to find you something to do.
only hope so. No point otherwise. Traditional rural pursuit, isn't it? We're just trying to blend in. See why people do this. It's a bit of a turn on, yeah? She took a life for pleasure. Man in sight, just peasants. It is a predicament. I've trained you for marriage. The time is right. Clear away. I fancy a tall one with a moustache. A moustache? What century are you in? I like moustaches. Went out with a dodo, didn't they, Ma? Facial hair can be quite attractive. What you absolutely do not want is damage. Excuse me. What is there for my dinner? Well, if you won't eat what we eat, nothing. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Welcome home, Father. You could at least have been here to greet me. I was working. Good for building character, I believe. Instills a sense of duty. Quite right, my angel, quite right. Did I get my present? You had learned your lesson. But you are an unmitigated disaster. Nobody would mortgage me. You bought the girls jewels. I didn't want to disappoint them. We could live on less, you know. Less? What are you saying? Less? I think, Martin, that you and I are going to have to review our sleeping arrangements. It's a very simple equation. Cash equals company. <clears throat> what is that? Oh, it's very tedious. The royal gala at the castle. It's my duty to go, but I find it a bore. I wouldn't mind if you and the girls stayed at home. Are you mad? I thought it might please you. The royal gala. Oh, new gowns. Dancing. Ah, oh, delicious. Do I still have to sleep on my own? Yes, you do. You know the rules. Father. Father. Call me names because I'm dirty all the time. And they won't give me anything to eat. And still, Father prefers them to me. I wish you hadn't died.
taking me, my friend. I know you don't I? From the big house in the valley. Who are you? I'm man. Do you live here? Why? I've got to live somewhere. And I like to be close to my lane. So you don't like people? I do not. And you don't like me? Not much. I thought you were hungry. Well, yes, I am, but I don't want to disturb you. Oh, you won't disturb me. Thank you. 
bought at the money. Oh, uh, that's rot. I'll take a frog if it's wealthy. A frog? Oh! I want a prince. Well, there's only one prince. And he's gorgeous. And, by chance, the wealthiest man in the kingdom. <laughs> you want the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's unreasonable. Do you? Have you chosen your outfits yet? Um, not quite, Mother. Hard to choose. Yeah, we're feeling the stress a bit, actually. Balls are a really big deal. I know. Balls are a battlefield. And if you hope to triumph, you must plan your campaign. But remember the principles I have taught you, and you will emerge victorious. Gone. Dress to kill, make up ditto. Most important? Shoes. Correct. Shoes for a huntress. Have we shoes? <sighs> oh, lovely. But take note. The harder they are to walk in, the more effective. Second, Reagan. Never accept a gift that isn't bigger than the one before. And if no gift is forthcoming. Look somewhere else. Good girl. Who wants a husband who's a miser? Goneril. Always laugh at the man's jokes, no matter how feeble they are. Flattery. Flattery. Fifth principle. Come on. Come on, girls. Be late for everything and taste the sweet nectar of power. What is the point of catching a man if you are unable thereafter to control him? <sighs> These are things you must remember. Would you care for a glass of champagne, Mother? Thank you. We're sorry we forgot. I am strict, I know. But it's for your own advancement. Learning to be a woman is no small matter. Because I must say, it must be doubly hard on you coming from a broken home. When two families intertwine, it's difficult to know who to rely on. And I do appreciate the fact that you're suffering from the after effects of a, a huge emotional upset. Yes, we are, actually. I blame myself. Mm. I do. I should have been less cavalier in my choice of husbands. The first two, regrettably, did not last the distance. And the current one... How was I to know he was a fraud? He had all the requisite titles. One assumes he has something in the bank. Father. Mother sent it. For your nerves. the bottom of the lake, which is where I wish you were. It's time you learned some manners, little miss. It's not bad enough I married a bankrupt. I have to take cheek from his daughter as well. A magical feast. Yes. I went behind a waterfall. The waterfall. You've been to see Mab. You know her. We go back a long way, we do. How is the old mermaid? She's a mermaid. 
I don't know. Is she? She certainly can swim. Yes. I've seen her in the water. She's a bit grumpy, though. Oh, don't worry about that. It's just her way. Got a heart of gold, ma'am has. If you're ever in trouble, you go to her. Might be up there myself one day. Then we're going for the castle. It takes hours. We better not be too late. No, Mother says ten minutes the first time. After that, get less and less punctual. Well, she's as keen as we are, I think. I wonder who would be husband number four. Well, she should be able to have her pick. It's a royal gala, after all. The crown de la crown will be there. Oh, they will, they will. I think for our next one, we should find some more yachts or chateaux. She's up to something. I want to know where she goes. Follow her. I thought I'd come, say adieu. What are you doing? I must attend. It is my duty. But you're too sick, my dear. You're, you're so sick. I so want you to be happy. I want to walk in by your side and hold you close and dance. You are devoted to me, aren't you? Extra reserves of stamina, which you will need. Tonight will be a night to remember. <laughs> remember, never dance with a man who cannot hold his drink. The castle.
Why would I want to give you a ball gun? Phelim said that... Ah, Phelim. He told me to ask you if I needed help. Well, there's no harm in asking. But can you? Help. Do I look as if I would possess such an item? I suppose not. Exactly. And I failed. Well, I do have that. I mean, I never wear it because it makes me look fat. But... Oh. Magic, I do not do. Anything we could possibly want exists already. I'm going to need some shoes. Shoes are for people who don't like their feet. I've never bothered with them. But I must have something. It's a ball. I don't care where you're going. Shoes I do not do. That's where the ball is. Yes, but the ball will be full of people. Do you realize that? Yes, I know. There'll be many men there trying to find a wife. I have to stop my stepmother. Uh huh. What's she up to? She's trying to poison my father. Oh, poison. Go up those stairs. Get up those stairs! Go on, jump! 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 Do you want to get to that ball or don't you? I hope you know what you're doing, Mab. Some awfully pretty girls arriving. And the orchestra this year is splendid. If you could just try to dance with one or two of them. I don't dance, Mama, you know that. Well, then it's time you made an effort for the sake of the royal line. Six and out. Shouldn't we be going down? Oh, uh, what's the point? None of those squares know how to dance. They all just jig up and down like marionettes. Your mama wants you to meet girls. <laughs> I've met girls. Girls aren't cool. 
Though my sister's not bad at tennis. Your sister tried to kiss me in the throne room. It was freaky. You are from noble families, all of you. Protocol demands your presence at the ball. We were just on our way, Mama. What does one look for in a daughter-in-law, First Minister? Obedience, ma'am. <laughs> For my first dance, I request the hand of you. I'm her sister. Dance with a sister, would you mind? Are you royal? Almost. I got here to the place where you fell in love. But I can't get in for I've no shoes. Poor father. No idea. What is your country's principal product, Ambassador? Oil. Oh. May I have this dance? Look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's a young filly like you doing here without a husband then, eh? Alas, my husband is dying. Oh, my dear, I'm so sorry. I wonder if I might dance with you. I wonder if I might dance with you. I'm sorry, not at the moment. He looks interesting. I think he's been with you to dance with Let's 
bugging you? I feel like I've gone into orbit. It's pretty peculiar, man. I don't think much of a shoes. Her eyes are nice, though. Interested in politics as well. Remarkable. It's very rare to meet a young lady with interest. She's still having a dance with you. Prince Valen? No, Her Majesty. She seems to prefer a more mature type of gentleman. I wish he wouldn't make it so difficult for himself. <sighs> Majesty? Why don't you go and give him a gentle no. lunch? <laughs> Are you enjoying the party, sir? He's ancient. How can she prefer him to me? What have I got to do? I don't know, sir. What are you good at? Government, you know, uncool stuff. Where do you sit? Here. And that one? My mama, at present, but. No, you blew my mind in that dress. It's deeply cool. Where did you get it? Up in the mountains. There's a lake high up. It's my favorite place. Amazing. And there one can buy these clothes. Something like that. I'll have to go. 
You know, I've never been to the mountains. Never been? But it's your kingdom. Yeah, but I stay here, mostly. Doing what? Just trying to pass the time. goals in life? Well, apart from being king, it's not earth-shatteringly ambitious, is it? I can only think of one. What is it? To make you my wife. I don't know if I love you or not. Perhaps you do just a little bit. Try it. Will you kiss me? I've never been kissed. Me neither. Take a bath. you see her anymore? Did you have an argument? One or two. You see, she couldn't live in the world, and I couldn't live in a cave. She liked solitude. I liked company. And a bath once a week has always seemed to me sufficient. Us getting married could conceivably have been a mistake. Y you're married? Oh, it isn't always like in the fairy tales marriage. Oh, no. Fact is, it can be blinking hard work. It's good for you, this stuff. Trust me. My first husband was a doctor.
Father. Father. Just say you drank it. Do you understand? Father, it's poison. Nonsense. This slipper will become my bride. All I know is the person I love is the person that can wear this shoe. Oh, there's a girl in a dress, and I have to confess. I just suddenly guess. Valiant. Both of my daughters were at the ball. You were intimate with both of them. I have no doubt one of them is your intended. But have some consideration for the other. There will be disappointment. There will be tears. Please, could I ask you to allow us to try the shoe on alone? Oh, it's a major break with precedent. Nevertheless, it's the request of a loving mother. I accede. If you'll go along to the study, I'll be sure that refreshments are sent on to you. Shortly, you will have a wife. Push, you stupid girl! I am pushing! Ugh. Come on, man. Have a sandwich. Your quest is over. At least we're spared the tears. The blubbing girl's a hideous sight. Right. There's nothing else for it. One of you has to lose some toes. I mean, what's keeping them? Either it fits or it doesn't. Val, stay cool. This madness. It will fit one of them, it will. It fits neither. There's not a girl in the whole of the mountains who can wear this shoe. I failed. You and your big feet. Go on ahead, guys. I need a bit of time.
good to throw that litter in my lake, I hope. Who are you? I'm mad. Who are you? Prince Valiant. Oh, yes. What do you want? I was looking for a shop, a boutique of some kind. A boutique? A place that sells far-out dresses. Oh, well, I think you took the wrong turning about a hundred miles ago. Kind of <laughs> fishy. Oh, I don't mean not not weird, no, but fabulously. Piscatory. Yes. Not that it matters now. I love her, but I lost her. I just came to say goodbye. You never say goodbye to the one you love. She's gone. Can't find her anywhere. If you truly loved her, you'd not stop looking for her until the day you died. Well, are you a man or a mollusk? I'm a prince. Well, we all have our misfortunes, and if you will dance with, with strange girls at parties, you have only yourself to blame. You know who she is. What makes you think that? Because I never said I danced with her. Where is she? I order you to say. Oh, you order me, Julie. That's some good fun. Please tell me. Please. I don't know what's happening. I thought I was... I thought it was cool about girls and love and stuff, but this... Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. 100%. I suppose you... You've tried every girl in the land with a sort of test of some sort that is traditional. Yes, all of them. All of them? Every single one. Every single one. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. trying it on. If it fits, you shall be my bride. Wait! This menial is on the verge of becoming a princess. This is a big moment. It's, it's, a, it's a definitive moment, one might say. Surely, surely you would prefer it if, if she were clean. the ball, I do not know. How you got back here, I do not know. But one thing I do know, which you would do well to keep in mind during your interview with that charming young man. Please stop! You have the figure of a stick insect. If you dare to try on his slipper with your wretched little foot, and I have a nasty suspicion it will fit. In that case, you can say goodbye to Daddy. I find him sadly lacking as a mate. Here we are. I've waited two hours. I've just been powdering my nose. Please, sit down. 
A lady must find her best light, you know. Otherwise, why bother fixing her face? This one. No, this one. Please, take off your shoe. I thought we might have a talk first. A talk? I haven't time for a talk. Oh, so you think I should be seen and not heard, do you? I'm not sure I want to be purely decorative. That's not what I meant. You mean to say that nothing I had to say would be of any intellectual value? No, I just wanted to try on the slipper. But there's rather a lot at stake here. I have my future to consider. Becoming a trophy wife to a prince has never been high on my agenda. I'm in love with the girl who fits this shoe. Yet you have no time for pleasant conversation. Living with you might have its drawbacks, mightn't it? I'm sure you'd like it a little bit. I'm sorry. I think I've broken a nail. Come, come, Cinderella. Cinderella? Is that your name? Good and proper, haven't you? You should have listened to your daughter, then you wouldn't have been in this pickle. Mm. Well, wow, my mm. word. Men can be stupid sometimes. Mm. Oh, yeah. No more magic! Have you brought me a present? No. But you'll have presents. You'll have more presents than you can count. I'm not falling for that one, sweetheart. Oh, I'm begging you to try on this slipper. You're my very last chance. Am I? I think you ought to know I want to do something useful with my life. I don't intend to lounge around living off the fat of the land. Are you engaged in any great works? No. But I will be, I promise you. What are you going to do? I'm going to try to understand my people and serve them well. It's not my fault I was born royal but it gives me the chance to change the world. The girl I met at the ball made me want to do that. She even made me want to dance. Wow. This love trip's weirder than I expected. One minute it's heaven, the next. Is it always like this? No, it gets dull quickly. I wouldn't mind it being dull. I could be dull with her for days. If only I could find her. It isn't me. Just try on the slipper. Then we'll know for sure. What is it with women? I don't understand. Yes. One of the great unsolved mysteries, aren't we? I never thought I'd say I love you, not to anyone. But if the slipper fits, I'll say it to you. Please. Marriage are over. Why is Prince Valiant here? Because I think I love him. A little bit. But you destroyed the slipper. Slipper? I've got a slipper. It 
fit. I hate happy endings. Theodore. What is it? What is it? I'm getting soft in my old days. That's what it is. Not to put too fine a point on it. Lonely. There's a big wedding up at the castle and I find myself thinking of you. I often think of you. Do you? Do you reckon there's a chance that we could... Uh, well, you know. Try again. I didn't marry you know the man. I don't suppose two bars a week will kill me. Majesty, I made a tragic mistake. Mm. Failure. Failure to attend the ball is a clear breach of ethics. No, not that. I married a murderess. For the ball, I owe you an apology. Yes, I should think it's to her you owe the apology. A motorcade is on its way. A motorcade? What a waste of money. No, I think we'll walk. Damn! I'm over here! Quick, man! Ah. 